Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog and today's episode is sponsored by Copart because we are going to be showing you in detail how to use the Copart transportation app. So the Copart transportation app has really changed the way that you go and collect your vehicles from Copart. Whether you do your collections yourselves or whether you have a, a transportation company doing the collection, the whole process has been simplified and has greatly reduced the amount of time that you spend waiting for cars to be loaded. So this tutorial is really going to show you how to get the best out of the app, how to uh, set up and register for the app and then how to use the app to collect your vehicles. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is to register. Now the app has been slightly redesigned and improved. So we go through some of the changes here. So. What we do first of all is we click on register and notice that we have two options here we can register as a transporter or a toll provider in all instances whether this is you collecting the vehicle or someone in your behalf they would register as a transporter so click on the transporter option we then have some information that we need to add in so the first one is our country so we'll put the united kingdom in there the next one we'll put an email address in there okay so i will put an address this is a fictional address so don't try to use it because it will just bounce but for the purpose of demonstration you get what i mean okay we put our name And then once we've done that, we then put our phone number. Again, random information. We now have to put some vehicle information in there so that when the loader comes to deliver our car when we're at the yacht, or the yard rather, he'll be able to recognize who we are. So in this case, we are going to put our vehicle and then we're going to put our registration details again all fictional so this is not real once we do that we then submit that information okay and then the email will be sent with our pin to our address and then we can then log into the app so you'll see the email come any second now there it is and we now use that information to sign in for the first time and of course if you have to change your vehicle for any reason you can actually change that in the app so the vehicle that you register the app with you don't have to keep on the app so you don't have to re-register either so all you need to do is change the vehicle if you happen to be in a different vehicle or in a hired vehicle let me show you how okay so once we are at the home page click on the account icon so that's a little man and then we can edit and change our vehicle here so click on the pencil and then down the bottom we want to select the vehicle that we want to change so in this we're going to make it a Ford Transit because I like transits and we're going to pick a 2020 model and then for the number plate we're going to just change that into something fictional okay and then click on update driver and then your profile will be updated with your new vehicle details and this is handy especially if you are changing your vehicle um, because the vehicle that you normally use is off the road or you've got a hired vehicle and you're changing it every time this will allow you to do that. Now that we received our PIN, we now need to log in. So we log in with the email address that we first used to register. And once we do that, we then use the PIN to log in for the first time. Now, once we log in with that PIN, we will be prompted to change our password on the next screen. So click on the sign in button. 
we now on the top line put the pin number that we received and then on the next two lines the new password that we want to use going forward now obviously mine is grayed out here because it's my password but the, you get the picture so top line the pin and then the next two lines the new password that you want to use then click on the update button and then that will register your password congratulations you've now registered yourself to use the app or your transporter once he's confirmed that he's done what we've just shown you you're now ready to receive your vehicles so now we're going to go on to the next stage on how you send the vehicle that you've just purchased to your transporter okay so now we go to payment payment history and then we go to send to transporter that will bring up the box down here and in here we put the address of the transporter that they use to register on the app so if we registered on the app we use our address if it's a transporter we'll use their address and then once we do that we click on the submit button and then that will send the request to the transporters app so once it's been sent from the members portal we'll see the car in our transportation app so there we can see our Ford Transit Courier van so now we need to book an appointment so we click on the little calendar button and we select the day that we want to go on this occasion we're going to go on a monday so we select monday and now all the slots which are available on monday will appear so you can see from 8 a.m we're going to select 12. so we select 12 and as we can see there's eight slots available for the 12 p.m slot so we'll click on that and now we've got our appointment is pending so we now need to click on the submit button we get our email notification and that is now confirmed so we now have our appointment booked and ready now we need to confirm our appointment so we click on the little menu button on the on the bottom there and then once we select that we can then confirm our appointment we'll get a notification from the top and now our appointment has been confirmed and we now go to pending arrival now click on the circle menu button and then click on the arrive button to notify the co-part attendant that you have arrived at the yard the app will show that you have arrived and then the co-part team will tell you where to go in order for you to receive your vehicle now a word of advice when you've marked that you have arrived at the co-part yard ensure that you actually are there don't be tempted to mark that you've arrived and you're not there because the guys at the yard they'll know because they'll be expecting you to arrive and if you're not then you're going to miss your loading slot so it's very important that you only mark that you have arrived when you have actually arrived at the yard once you're in your designated uh, parking space follow all the safety precautions and the directions from the loading driver and he will load your vehicle onto your vehicle for you so that you may take it away and then be able to uh, enjoy your salvage vehicle okay so there's two options that you need to be aware of once you've collected the vehicle from Copart there's the drop off and then there's the completed so once you have arrived at your destination whether it be your place or if it's your transporter they then need to click on the drop off to notify Copart that the vehicle has been dropped off and then go to the completed box to say that the vehicle delivery process has now been completed and that will then put a notification on the members portal so once the delivery has been made if you go back to your payment history you'll then notice that on the if you click on the completed you'll, you'll see first of all the status on the pickup status as completed and if you click on completed you will then see the all the processes that are part of the delivery so the drop off at the members location right back to the lot allocated and how it was delivered so you've got a complete itinerary of when the driver arrived so we arrived at 12 or 6 and then when we left the yard which was 12 31 to where it was then dropped off at 5 21. 
So, and that completes this tutorial on how to use the transportation app. So there you go, nice and simple, really straightforward. Hopefully you found this tutorial very useful and don't forget to subscribe down here if you are a casual viewer and click on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever we release new videos.